Yes, we're standing right in front of the brand new Alpha G experiment, where we hope to start studying gravitational effects on antimatter here in Alpha. Now we want to start seeing what happens if you take some antimatter and drop it in the gravitational field of the Earth. Very simple, very basic question, but we don't know the answer. The experiment is very complicated. You have to first make some neutral antimatter. It's very important that there's no charge because electromagnetic interactions are much, much stronger than gravity. So the perfect thing is neutral anti-hydrogen. So we've been working for many, many years to learn how to produce and hold on to neutral anti-hydrogen. We can now have a thousand anti-hydrogen atoms at once in our Alpha 2 machine. Our first machines were horizontal. This thing is obviously different, it's vertical. We're gonna trap some anti-hydrogen and drop it. We have a three meter long experiment where we can hold anti-hydrogen. We have a detector surrounding it to see where the anti-hydrogen goes and annihilates, and we're just about ready. We're just about ready to close this up, cool it down, and start doing experiments. So we hope to get it commissioned this year. If we're lucky, they might extend the run a little bit, and we can do an experiment. We're fingers crossed, but it's really ambitious at this point. Anything this new, this complicated, it takes some time to make it work. Once it's ready, it's very complicated. We need to do a lot of work, a lot of commissioning, a lot of testing to make sure that every, all the systems work. This machine, we went to great lengths to make sure that it could measure either possibility, whether it goes down, as everyone suspects, or one in a million chance it goes up. Our optimistic scheduling was that we could answer the up and down question this year. Uh, who knows? In the future, what we would like to do is then measure the real magnitude of the attraction between Earth and antimatter. Is it the same? Let's assume for a minute that it actually falls down like normal matter. Is it exactly the same as normal matter? That's the longer term research program here. Are little g and g bar the same? Right? Is the force the same on matter and antimatter? And that's really the fundamental question that we're trying to address. And we assume that measurement will become more and more precise over the years.